What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Mickey Quill, and welcome to part five of my Q&A series. If you've listened to the other Q&As, you know I've had some problems with everyone making the noises, and now look at this rabbit. Look at this. Frida, where did you steal that piece of paper from? And why do you have to find it just when I start recording? Yes. Yes, you. You can play cutie pie all you want, but I know you're the destroyer. So now she's just going to sit there and stare at me and give me the evils. But welcome. Why can't the camera? Yesterday I had so many noises. So I left it and filmed some stuff that didn't require talking. And now I thought new day, new filming, new, new silence. No, not gonna happen. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Hey, Freddy Cat, you gonna be good? She's never gonna be good. So, welcome to my inky Q&A series where I answer questions from you that you gave me about a year ago before baby Toomey was even known about. So, it's been a little while, but I thought today in part five we'll move on to some more supply-based questions. So, I'm going to put the questions up here so you can see them, and I'm going to try and keep this to ten minutes or so. We'll see how we go. If I lost all my craft supplies, oh, I think, I think I would miss my, this is cheating, this is cheating a lot, I think I would miss my mixed media Rascog cart the most, because it's taken me a while to collect all the different mists and watercolours and paints and things, and I think that's what I've missed the most, whereas a pack, like a pack of thickers, it's easy to refine the one that you want, but I've got stencils, I've got so much in that mixed media trolley. I think I'm gonna cheat and say the whole trolley. Next up, um, making embellishments. So I mentioned in another video, I've, all, I've got a couple of videos on making embellishments. I might even have another one by the time this video goes up, maybe. And there's also some DIY embellishments in my Get Kitted online class, which you can see more about at inkyquill.com. Next up, my top five purchases for 2016. Ooh, okay. I would say number one. Okay, let me have a think. Oh, number one is definitely this camera. This was, Aaron and I bought this as a joint Christmas present for ourselves. Um, before baby Toomey came along as an excuse. We just wanted a camera. But um, it's helped filming so much because it's a Canon G7X power shot. I'll put a picture here so you can see what it looks like. Um, the quality is so much better and I can put it on my tripod and tilt the screen so I can sit and scrap and look at the screen. Whereas before I was standing and looking down at my viewfinder. Um, and in my pregnancy I've had a lot of complications and I haven't been able to stand that much. So the, the camera is definitely number one. Uh, number two, I would have to say my Jane Davenport watercolours. Oh, was that 2017? I'm going to slide it in. 2016. Um, my Jane Davenport watercolour tins that Aaron and I are sharing, I really like the quality of them and the brightness. Number three, I didn't buy it, a beautiful subscriber bought it for me, but my ATG gun, I love, which is an adhesive glue thing, tape runner. Number four, let's go with, I'm gonna say my Rhodia bullet journal. If you haven't subscribed on my second channel, Let's Get Inky, I have a full flip through of my bullet journal in January or February. Um, it's just a beautiful notebook. And then number five, 
I'd say traveler's notebooks in general. So I've got my little Midori, if they're still, no, they're not Midori anymore. Traveler's factory passport size that I use for my planner. I've got my butterfly effect book from Jane Davenport and I want a giveaway from Little Magical Art for a fabric dory as well. So they're my top five purchases, I think. Um, do, 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 do. Favorite scrappy item only available in Australia? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> um, we don't have a lot, I guess. Typo is an amazing shop if you're visiting Australia at any time and you love stationery. Typo is fantastic, but um, I know they've just opened up in the UK. Don't think they're in America. Um, but other than that, I buy all of my stuff from overseas, really. It's so hard to get American crafts things here um, and like traveler's notebooks and things. I buy it all from overseas. So I'd say not really a product, but I do really like the Typo Shop. If you go on their website, you'll you'll see why. They do homewares and stationery and you could spend so much money there. <laughs> um, next up, my five holy grail crafting tools. Number one, a good big pair of scissors. So Alice sent me these beautiful gold ones that I love. Um, so a good big pair of scissors. My heat gun as I do a lot of mixed media and I dry it with that. Um, my ATG. A fine tip 0 0.1 felt tip pen. So I use my Copic Multiliner at the moment. This is filmed in February, so who knows what pen I'm using now because I switch so much. <laughs> and my fifth tool a one inch circle punch. I find a one inch circle punch can get you out of a lot of trouble or a teeny tiny heart punch. Yep, so those two punches. They're my top five must have tools. Um, I, Sharon, I will do a video on some tools because there's a lot of, there's a lot out there, especially adhesives, there's so much out there. So thanks for the tip, I'll do a video when I have a moment on my favorite tools and a little bit more of a explanation on, on what I think are my favorites. I think I do have a video from maybe a year and a half ago that I did for a, a hop. Try searching inky quill tools or favorite. It might come up, there might be one. I remember doing something like that. Um, Oh, that's a good idea. April has said to do a how you set up a workstation at a weekend crop. That's a good idea. I'm actually teaching at a crop um, in or retreat in July. So I might show you my setup then. I might do a bit of either Facebook live video or I might film some bits and pieces and do it for later. But thanks for the tip. I will do something like that. Um, and I'll do a clustering one as well. I'm thinking of doing a clustering class. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Favorite crafting brand and why? I just love crepe paper. I want to marry crepe paper. I want to be crepe paper. I am crepe paper. Crepe paper is life. Um, it just suits my style so much. I just, oh, oh, you're okay, Freddie? The wind blew that piece of paper that she was eating before and it landed right in front of her and she got spooked. You're okay, bub. It's all right. Oh, now she's all sad. Um, but yes, crepe paper is my favorite brand just because it's a bit vintagey, a bit florally, and it's my colors. I don't really do the bright primary colors. I do more of the, but not pastel pastel. I do do pastel pastel, let's be real. But it's kind of that mid-tone that's not, not too dark, not too light. It's just right. Frida? Pretty cat, what are you doing? Are you looking for trouble? She's looking for trouble. Very much looking for trouble. Oh, we're all wonky now. How'd you get so wonky? There you go. Yay. All right, next question. 
one product I've hoarded the longest dies I keep buying metal dies for my big shot and they're not using them <laughs> so I, I might do a series at the end of the year about dies and using them yeah I hoard them a lot favorite thing from my scrappy stash my mixed media cart I really do like my mixed media cart but other than that tiny word stickers always tiny word stickers um i can do a video on how i sew on layouts and embellishments and things i'm not very technical i kind of just turn the sewing machine on hope there's thread in it because aaron threads my bobbins <laughs> that's so embarrassing i can't do it i break it every time so i might have to get aaron to help me with a sewing video because he seems to have the patience to thread the sewing machine and the bobbin whereas I don't and then the tension goes funny but I will I'll, I'll see if I can do a video on that soon um, Vicky a tip with the dies I saw this I haven't tried it though but a tip is to put your so you have your die with the the cutty bit and then baking paper or wax paper whatever you you call it in your country and then your paper that you're cutting out and you can it you lift out the baking paper a lot easier um, there might be a tutorial online somewhere but just try to sandwich a piece of baking paper or wax paper in between your die and the paper that you're cutting out and see if that helps because I've heard that that makes it a lot easier to, to get out um, my 12 by 12 papers I've got They'll be in my, they should be in my last craft room tour, but they're just up there and they're just in one shelf that I got from Ikea where I, I just sort them by rough color groups. Um, I've been really good. I've culled down to one shelf of 12 by 12 paper and then one shelf that has a stack of paper pads because I do buy most of my paper through paper pads. I'm going to leave it there and then we'll go on with the next video. Thanks for tuning in today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the inky question series and a comment if you wanna comment on any of the things that I brought up or give any of your own tips. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Frida, are you cranky at me? She's still not very impressed. I'm going to film another one of these now, so can you just be quiet and cute for a little while? Oh, you're so cute and squishy. So cute and squishy, yes.